All right, here we go. The inaccuracies of dog's bite. Here we go. This is the original article, Pitbull Terror on Trail. Dog attacks, uh, Fells horse, Fells horse? Dog attacks, Fells horse near Auburn. Traffic was halted for a short time Thursday on Forest Hill Road near Auburn to protect a riderless horse that was galloping down the center of of the thoroughfare to escape an attacking pit bull terrier. The horse, earlier ridden by Lincoln's Odette Parker, uh, was attacked by a dog witnessed describe it as an unleashed 100-pound pit bull. Parker said the dog, followed by two other smaller dogs and a man who stays silent and apparently fearful during the attack, ran help yelping at the horse as it approached in a run circled it, and then jumped onto the horse's flank, biting into the tail area. Parker's horse, a 916-pound Morgan Arabian named Dancing Dandy, kicked its attacker away, but the dog continued to look for an opening. Okay, and there's the dog. The dog moved in again, leaping at the face of the horse. They grabbed it. Uh, the horse lurched upward and took off down the trail with the pit bull in pursuit. Anyway, right, I'm going to... I'm going to copy this whole article into uh, the description of the video. And, of course, it's a pit bull, so here's where Dog's Bite listed. Pit bull attacks in classic bull baiting form. And you can tell it's the, uh, it's the same horse. Uh, talking about Echo Valley of Auburn. Um... An update, the Pipple and its owner are still AWOL. Man is mid to late 20s, balding with a short fringe of black hair. Okay, 5'5", five, five. he wore jeans. Unleashed Pipple attacks uh, horse in Forest Hill. Rider's horse, Odette Parker. Okay. Parker said the dog followed the, by other two smaller dogs. Uh, what Parker may not know is that she just described plastic bull baiting form, which has been in the bulldog bloodline for 2,000 years. Parker's horse, a 916 pound Morgan Arabian, uh, Dancing Dandy. I just want to make sure that this is the correct horse and uh, owner and dog that they're talking about. And of course the comments. The old Pibble Dine and Dash trick. At least the, fit, at least the pit perp didn't hang around to give a phony name. Another comment, dog attacking horses, wrong, wrong, wrong. Another one, meanwhile, New Jersey society is, eh, whatever, I'm through acid on a pit bull, yet we see numerous pit bull dining dash operations on other animals in the news, and they are met with silence by the animal welfare community. Uh, worse than wrong, if anybody knows the owner, please come forward. Thank goodness the dog wasn't after the owner. She could have fought him, she couldn't have fought him off. And then it goes in, this kook is going to get caught. He's better the police catch him before some pissed off ranchers do. I'm rooting for the pissed off ranchers. These are comments left. And here's to Colleen Lynn by Bruce Basting. Pitbull's attack. You should have mentioned to Gus that, um, of the Auburn Journal that not only you believe this breed dangerous, but liability insurance carriers uh, do too for my years my wife and I enjoyed seeing the country in the RV parks they all excluded pit bulls, rots, doves. Uh, why do you suppose this is done because they are prejudiced against these breeds owners of these dogs say I don't think so one word liability signed well here you go boom this all of that was April 4th April 9th this was April 24th all right horse mauling mystery man now has a face Investigation in first attack now keying on non pitbull by Gus. Uh, investigators, hang on here. Investigators are hoping to composite photo will jog people's memories and help crack the case of a dog owner who fled the horse scene of a horse attack near Auburn. Showing a stocky, balding man believed to be 20 years old, 200 pounds, and 5 foot 9. Here we go. Here's the interesting part. From the April 3rd attack, are now more sure that the dog was not a pit bull and could have been a crossbreed or boxer because of its 100 pound size. 
The attack took place on a public trail four miles east of Auburn through off leash people bit the horse in face and flank. The man fled, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's get down to where the dog is. Here we go. Odette Parker, an experienced trail rider who was able to get off the horse uninjured during the attack, said that she and fellow rider had initially thought the dog was a pit bull boxer, cross or boxer, after the attack, but now are more certain that it was a mixed breed boxer because of it because it had the black mask of a boxer on its face. All the pit bulls we've observed are relatively small dogs, Parker said. Parker said she's hoping to composite photo will help bring witnesses forward on here on the attack after it saw the man pick up his dog. There are at least two people in the car. Parker said her horse, 900 pound Morgan Arabian, so it's the correct horse. Uh, Parker says she carries mace on her trail rides and took place on where a second dog attack involving a pit bull and another horse took place last Saturday. In that incident, the dog owner tried to stop the attack and stayed and to talk to law enforcement. So a pit bull responsible owner a uh, mixed boxer breed, uh, um, irresponsible. So yeah, it was not a pit bull, it was a boxer.